Hi, my name is Richard Duffy. I'm the SAP Business One Product Evangelist, and I'd like to welcome you to this short session where I'm going to talk to you a little bit about running SAP Business One on the Apple Macintosh, and in particular on the Apple Macintosh operating system. We have uh, many, many customers around the world who are utilizing SAP Business One to run their businesses and at the same time, they're running those same businesses utilizing uh, Apple equipment and of course, they're utilizing the Macintosh operating system. The current version, of course, being uh, Mac OS X Lion. So what I thought I'd do is just take you through a couple of the options that are available to you if you're contemplating going down a similar path. And this is based on what we have existing customers doing today. So I want to take you through the available and the recommended options, explain what those are, talk a little bit about where you can go to find the system prerequisites from a hardware perspective, uh, talk about uh, the support impact of each of these different options, and then point you to some additional resources that are available for you. So the available and recommended options, are uh, you have two choices. You have the ability to utilize a virtualization platform such as VMware Fusion or Parallels Desktop for Mac. Or you can go with a native option and that native option of course is to use the bootcamp functionality which is available on all Intel based Macintoshes. And this is fundamentally where you effectively use the Mac hardware as a Windows PC. So you're booting straight up into the Windows operating system, not using any kind of virtualization at all. So let's talk first and foremost about the virtualization options. The first virtualization option you have is Parallels Desktop for Mac. And the way that Parallels Des Desktop is positioned is that it gives you the um, ability not to have to choose between Windows and the Mac OS. You can seamlessly run both side by side and have drag and drop functionality between the operating systems. Of course, run Windows applications on your Mac without rebooting. And uh, just a quick note, I've used all of the different um, mechanisms that I'm going to tell you about today. And each one of these mechanisms works very, very effectively. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you, you know, you should use one um, virtualization platform over another. You need to decide uh, on what is the best approach for you. So the pros of running Parallels is, of course, that you running Windows inside the Macintosh operating system. And what does that mean? Then the the usage of SAP Business One, it just becomes another application that you're running side by side with your Macintosh or your OS X uh, applications. So what are the disadvantages? Well, with all virtualization solutions, you do need to have more powerful hardware. Why? Because you are virtualizing the Windows operating system inside the Macintosh operating system. So you need more powerful hardware, you need a more powerful uh, processor, you need more available memory in order to, uh, to achieve this. Now if you're looking for the specific hardware requirements to run Parallels, you can see on the uh, URL I have here at www.parallels.com slash products slash desktop slash system dash requirements. So you can get the very specific system requirements there for running parallels. And then on top of that, of course, you then need to add the system requirements for running Windows on top of parallels. And of course, nowadays, uh, the Windows operating systems that are supported by Microsoft, our Windows Vista, and of course, Windows 7. So Windows XP no longer supported by Microsoft. So of course, our, well, my recommendation is that you are running Windows 7. And that's what I run on my Macintosh because guess what? That's exactly how I uh, run SAP Business One on my uh, iMac. I also have a MacBook Pro and a MacBook Air. I run SAP Business One on all of these, um, all of these different machines and in all honesty, I toggle between the, uh, the different virtualization environments. 
So I've got Parallels Desktop installed on my machine, I've got VMware Fusion, and of course I can boot up into, uh, into Boot Camp. So it's really just a matter of what it is that you're wanting to do. My personal preference, and again this is my personal preference, is to use virtualization. But what does that mean? I have to have a machine that has at least eight gigabytes of RAM in order for me to do everything that I want. You could do it with uh, a machine with, uh, you know, four gigabytes of RAM, but you certainly want, wouldn't want to be using a machine with any less than that. But again, I recommend you check out those hardware requirements. Second option, and let's step away from virtualization for a second, is to use Apple Boot Camp for Macintosh. So, of course, the Boot Camp software uh, was included with the Mac OS X, uh, version 10.5 Leopard, Snow Leopard, and of course Lion. This now lets you install and run Windows and Windows applications on your Mac. The advantage of this, you're running Windows natively. So there is no Mac uh, operating system and you cannot run your Macintosh applications at the same time. Of course, you can reboot back into the Mac OS uh, and access those Macintosh applications. But then, of course, uh, you need to switch back to uh, Boot Camp and to run Windows natively again. Now, there are some, some ways around that that I'll talk about in a second. Um, well, actually, why don't I talk about it now? Both VMware Fusion and Parallels will give you the ability to take your Boot Camp petition that you've set up on your Macintosh and run that Boot Camp petition as a virtual machine. So you really you get the best of both worlds uh, and you just need to decide you know, how you need to work to make, that, uh, to make that function effectively. But the bottom line from an SAP Business One perspective is Business One still runs as a Windows application either way. So as long as you're running a supported Windows operating system, uh, and the supported version of that operating system, then you're in good shape. Let's talk a little bit about the VMware Fusion virtualization platform for Mac OS, and you can see the positioning here is exactly the same. What's it about? It's about running your Windows applications side by side with your Mac applications. And the big differentiator um, between the two applications is really how they simplify the implementation or the installation of Windows. So again, just the same as Parallels Desktop, the pros are that uh, you can run your Windows application side by side inside OS X. And again, the cons are the same. You need more hardware owing to virtualization. So the same scenario. And there you can see I've provided a URL for uh, the VMware requirements. So what I'll do is just quickly show you how I run um, SAP Business One in a virtualized environment. So I'm going to utilize Parallels at the moment. I've just upgraded to the very latest version of Parallels, so I'm gonna choose that one, just so you can see how easy it is um, to run SAP Business One on your Mac hardware. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start up my uh, copy of Parallels Desktop, which I start up just the same as any other normal Mac OS application. I'm running Mac OS X Lion, so I have the launch pad, or I can of course launch it from the applications area, or if I've put it on my dock, I can launch it from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch it from the dock. And what you can now see is that when I first start up Parallels, I've got a choice of my virtual machine. So right now I have a Windows Server virtual machine that I use for demonstration purposes and testing purposes. But I've also taken my bootcamp petition, which I've set up on, on the Mac OS, and I have uh, allowed myself to utilize that inside the virtual machine. So that's what I'm going to use. So you can see I've started that up and I get the uh, the normal boot screen and it's going to go ahead and it's going to start up my Windows session under Boot Camp and you can see it's just the same as if I was starting up a normal Windows machine. So we'll give that a couple of seconds to load up. Then I'm just going to quickly resize the screen because normally I'll operate in full screen mode. You can now see I'm booting up into Windows 7 Ultimate. 
and because my Macintosh has an i7 processor which is 64-bit compatible, um, I'm running Windows 7 in 64-bit mode. So in a second it's going to ask me to log on. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to run my virtual machine um, in what's called coherence mode. That basically hides all of the Windows desktop and then just runs any applications that you launch from Windows in uh, a window the same as any other Macintosh application and you'll see how seamless that is. On now and I'll put in my password. And then what's going to happen is Windows 7, the Windows 7 desktop, <clears throat> pardon me, is going to disappear and it will then move basically the Windows start menu up into uh, my menu bar at the top of my uh, Mac OS X screen and then I can start SAP Business One from there. So Windows is now booting up and in a second you'll see that the screen has disappeared. Status bar and I'm going to choose to enter coherence and you'll now see that the Windows taskbar disappears and so now you'll see up in the top of the screen all of the running applications that were available for me in Windows are now a seamless part of my Macintosh uh, OS X desktop and all I need to do now is I can click up here I can go and choose the Windows Start menu and you'll see there on my Windows Start menu I have SAP Business One so I'm going to choose that and Business One will now launch. Just going to pause the recording for a second just while Business One launches. And I can go ahead and log on as I normally would. Log on with my username and password. Click OK. And now I have Business One running on my Macintosh uh, side by side with all my other Macintosh applications. So for example, if I wanted to go and start up, let's say uh, I wanted to go and start up Word for the Macintosh, I'll just go into my launch pad. I'll choose to start Word. And when Word is started up, you'll be able to see that I'm running both those applications side by side, SAP Business One and Microsoft Word for the Mac OS. So I get the best of both worlds. But for Mac, both running seamlessly on my desktop uh, and I'm ready to go. So hopefully that's been uh, helpful for you to see exactly just a quick view of how this works. So there you have it. Uh, hopefully that's given you a little bit of an understanding of how this is going to work. So again, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this session. Hopefully it's been of value for you. Uh, if you'd like any additional information about SAP Business One or the topic that we talked about today, you can reach out to me via my email address, which is richard.duffy at sap.com. Thanks very much.